Okay, so when you suffer a security breach, uh, there's a whole bunch of different financial losses uh, that occur. And typically the impact to organisations for a, a standard major breach is um, between sort of um, five to $10 million. These days for the major breaches we've been seeing, you know, you're looking at upwards of $100 million plus when you start taking into a whole bunch of different uh, impacts that are chain reactions off the back of the security breach. Um, so there's reputational damage um, that occurs. Uh, you know, you ultimately lose clients off the back of that um, or customers. That ends up leading to a loss in revenue and therefore very quickly you're suffering financial losses. There's uh, data breach, uh, notification laws and fines, there's compliance fines. So in Australia, uh, late last year, that was um, the fines were introduced uh, to be around $50 million. So again, very quickly, you can start um, racking up those huge um, bills. There's system outage SLA fines. So if you're, for example, um, a critical part of an organization, uh, or, or a part of a supply chain to be able to deliver things like, you know, for example, financial transactions that you need to be running all of the time, then you can start having fines from SLAs that are not being met. If you've had credit cards being stolen, you, you have to pay for those credit cards to be on a watch list. There's increased compliance requirements, which then leads to uh, additional audits and more in-depth audits. Uh, obviously, when you suffer a security breach, you have to do a security breach investigation, and that can range from anywhere between, you know, $100,000 to $1.5 million, depending upon how big the breach is. Uh, there's internal resource costs. So typically, when you suffer a security breach, um, the, uh, you know, you're, you're pulling a lot of your IT team into um, managing the breach your executive team and your board members, as well as, you know, your other team. So, you know, um, your PR and marketing around communicating with journalists, you've got your legal team dealing with legal aspects and protecting uh, uh, professional privilege. Um, so that when you do have to go to court, you're protected to a degree, um, as well as uh, other parts of your organization um, to be able to, uh, manage this, and that includes HR to be able to manage um, the emotional impacts that security breaches have uh, on employees within the organisation. Um, there's also uh, delayed projects, which then has a knock-on effect of delayed revenue streams, um, as well as unknown costs. Things like you know, if you have to freeze all of your backup tapes, for example, and you know, we had one instance where they. Had to, had to put aside a hundred backup tapes at two hundred. Uh, sorry, a thousand backup tapes at two hundred dollars each. You know, that's suddenly two hundred thousand dollars that you hadn't planned for. Um, and then you also have to then invest in additional security controls and additional security projects, and that in itself can um, very, very quickly extend into the millions and millions of dollars, depending upon the size of your organisation.